guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is episode 12, I think, or 11. Um, well, I can't remember. <laughs> episode whatever. So since you laugh with us, we've signed a couple of players. We've brought in Ryan McLaughlin, former Liverpool youngster. We've brought Decor in on loan from Bruce and, Bruce and Black there. Eh? Yeah, that team. He is a 19-year-old centre half, as you can see. Great stats all round. He'll bring up, bring in a, a, an extra, some extra cover there. We brought in Charlie Adams, the Scotland international, former Rangers, Stoke, Liverpool, and Blackpool player. Um, yeah, just a bit of experience. He's only he's 31. He's 28 caps for Scotland. Uh, yeah, still pretty good. He's never been. His physical has never been great with pace and things like that, but he's still, I think, he, leadership's high, flair. Um, he can hit a, a decent long shot as well, so he'll add a wee bit more to the team. And Fedro, Fedric Mashida, um, former Man United, Cardiff. Um, he's played for quite a few teams in, in the past. So we've brought him in in a free transfer just to give us a wee bit more cover up front. Um and if we now look at the schedule, so you were last with us for the Celtic game. So we uh, we we drew with Celtic. After that, we beat them fair in 2-0 with Ryan McLaughlin and Charlie Telfer scoring. We then beat Aberdeen 3-1 with Omar Slego and Sheen Kiskin scoring. We then beat Inverness 4-1 with Cork, Telford... Uh, an own goal for Brown and Big Saldado scoring. We then beat Heat Hibs 2 1 with Winsheimer and Telfer scoring, and then we lost to Party Thistle 2 0 in the last match. So, this game we're playing Ross County in the, the league here, and then we have a cup quarter final against there. So, we're going to play these two here, and then. Um, in fact, I think I'll do three games. I think we'll jump onto the Rangers game as well. So I think we'll play Ross County, Air, and Rangers. Right, without further ado, let's uh, have a wee look at the... In fact, we'll have a look at the, 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 the league table here. So as you can see, we're second in the league. Level with Celtic. Two points behind Aberdeen. Um, a point ahead of Hibs and Hearts. So... We're up where we want to be, and um, this is what I aim for. I say I'm aiming for fifth, four for fifth this season. I'll be quite happy with that. If I can get anything above that, um, it's it'll be a bonus. So for the Ross County match, let's see who we're going to go with. Who's after him? A one loan. Right. So um, I think. Let's have a look. Just grab a wee drink of juice here. Right, so Charlie Adams can stay in for this game. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. We bring Spittle back in. So <laughs> we'll go to Limber Limburg and go Robson, Dakua and Bigazili, oh whatever you call them, Spittle, Telfa, eh, Hazmaz, Adam, Hesketh, Fletcher and Winsammer up front. If he's all been watching the football the last few days, some good results first week. It's nice to have the, the Premier League back and all the. I think that's most of the divisions back now, so it'll be, it's good to have the football. The only thing is that 
doesn't feel like we've had much a, a break from it. It's never ending these days. There always seems to be some sort of match on. So, Dundee United, the favourites for this one. That's always a good start for us. So, I'm going to say to them, let's give a bit of performance here. So, home match against Ross County. We, hopefully, we should be winning this one. Oh, I've done this again. done that last time as well. Turn it down. So, no, no, here's not really too many chances. So, Adams with the corner. Hest with the finish. Excellent assist by Big Pel by the big Spanish boy. <laughs> Thank you, a name for him. Pegalazino. Lays it back. Hest scores. So, that puts his back top of the table ahead of Aberdeen. So, here's Schalk. Woods. Schalk plays it in, cleared away. Schalk plays it down the wing. Magrez wins it back. Telfer plays it out. Poor ball. Lewis now, bit of space, and equaliser by Curran. Too much space out in the wing there. Left back caught out of position. I think I might have made a mistake saying this the Coor guy. He doesn't seem as good as other defenders. Um, right, here's Esk. Schwartz, Hest, Robson, Hest, Telfer, Chapande, oh, excellent. He, he, he's always good for us. He's first one this season, but um, last season he scored quite a few from a similar sort of range and angle. So, excellent. Um, guys, I might need to pause the video at one point because I'm actually waiting for a, a, an answer delivery. So, if, it, if I disappear and then come back, it's because my doors went. What oh, for missing the penalty? Might change my penalty taker. I think that's two he's missed this season. So, oh, Hesk. Oh no, it's this line. Is it this line for offside? Yeah, this line for offside. So, um, um. So, let's see how this goes. I have been watching a few of the games. I've, uh, I've enjoyed some of them. I mean, the two games yesterday. The, uh, yesterday. I have watched two games yesterday, one on Friday. Um, oh, Windsor makes it 3-1. Um, not disallowed again. Offside. Two goals disallowed. Right. <coughs> fresh not last 10 minutes so Charlie Adams you can go off um, Lindsay can come on um, and Fedric you can come on Uh, let's see. Who else is struggling? Left back. Yep. And Gallagher can come on. So uh, I'd say Spurs just went 2 0 up. There we go. Comes in well out by Lindbergh. Two wins, a dodgy one. Spill tries to find Makeda. Lewis again. Oh, it's a carbon copy of the last goal. You're joking. Again, caught out at the left. Nobody there to clear it. We should be winning games like this. Two goals in, disallowed. Really bad result. Really, really bad result. Really poor. So what I'll do, what I'll do is I'll we'll play through. I can be asked with that. Assistant can do it. So we're still second. Still like a game in hand. We're just ahead of Hibs. Um, 
so I'll play through the, the air game um, and then uh, you can join me back then. Alright guys, welcome back. So this is the cup game against Aya. So what I've done is I've made quite a few changes. I think I've changed everybody. So I'm going to give Cammy Bell a wee chance in goals. And then we've got Ryan McLaughlin, Paul Cock, Alex Davy, Jim Robson, <laughs> Matthew Wilcock, Shane Caskin, Kyle McGuinness, Scott Fraser, Jack Dunn and Makeda. So let's go straight into this match. Um, I like to try to squeeze the Rangers game into this episode as well. So I don't want to take it too long. Um, assertive. We all after what happened in the last match. And we obviously must have beat by it at some point. So Smith. David brings it away well. So this is just a... As I said, I'm not really bored with the Betfred Cup to be fair. So I give some of the guys that aren't getting a game just now some game time, just in the cup, just to uh, keep them in about the first team. Fraser, good save by the goalkeeper. Wilcock, McGuinness, Smith brings it forward, tries to bring Bobs, saved by Bell. It's Hill, Fail by Josh McGuinness. Oh, Kyle, sorry. Josh. Yeah. Fraser in, it's cleared away. Only fires McLaughlin, tries one fairly range, saved by Kelly. Kelly plays it out now. <coughs> really poor. Was kick their ass, right, McGuinness, Davey, Fraser. Might try to maybe bring on somebody else soon. Definitely left back, I'm going to change the left back. So, goes off. So it's still nil nil. Tony Galaka comes off, it comes on at the left back. Fraser! Excellent goal by the young Scott. What a free kick. Curls it round the wall. Goalkeeper should have done better maybe, but it's 1-0 to us. So it's Oh, no more, no more, um, quite a, a rubbish game there, but I did play a lot of um, reserve players, so, um, yeah, so that's us. Right guys, so we're here for the Rangers game now, so let's, let's see if we can get another good result. Uh, Rangers are sort of struggling at the moment in, in the league, um, if I quickly show you here, so, we were here for the, the game, obviously, then we played the Hamilton game, we won 3-1. Charlie Adams, Ashley Fletcher and Frederico McKeda scoring his first goal for us. So, still getting decent crowds, above the 10,000 every every week. Um, the finances, a bit better than they were last year. Um, but I think we'll probably end up in the red again. Because we lost 100 grand this week, um, this month, sorry. So, because the income is five, so the expenditure travels that. So, I'd, I don't see, I mean, look at that, match the expenses of more than what we're getting for well, match the income. So, um, we'll see what's going on. So, quick here, quick look. So, we're going to go with Cork at left back, Dukua, Valent, and McLaughlin. Adams. Jude Harry and Telfer, uh, Hesk, Fletcher and Makeda up front. So if we could win here today, we'd go, we'd go back ahead of Celtic because they're not playing. Um, and obviously we stay ahead of Hibs. 
So we're playing Rangers at Ibrox. Maybe should have changed the tactics slightly, but we're doing well with this tactics. Let's just keep going. Um, passionate. Can't get the fans a money worth. Um, so, Mackay for Rangers puts it in. It's a foul already. A penalty for Rangers inside the first 30 seconds. So who's taking it for Rangers here? Up steps Garner and he scores. Okay, Garner on loan from I think it's either Aston Villa in the game. He's not really at Rangers in real life, but so one 0 to Rangers quite early on. Former Rangers player actually Charlie Telford. We've got two in the team, Charlie Telford and Charlie Adams both used to play for Rangers. And Garner, Hassan away, Makeda loses it. McLaughlin wins it back. Fletcher. Fletcher. Valente. Gardner. Gardner. Hansen. 2-0 to Rangers. 15 minutes gone. Um, let's see. Let's have a look at this. Try the try changing the tactics slightly. Um, put the big fella back there just to try and stop the flow. If we could get one back by before half time, <coughs> it'd give us a shout. It's sort of slowed down now, hasn't it? The gap between midfield and forwards. Yeah, that's because I took the attacking mid off. Um, So, just finished watching the Spurs game there, finished 2-0, seemed okay, I don't know what Shelby was thinking there, he was a bit reckless, there was no need, especially the referee right beside you, you don't stamp on a player, Telford find McLaughlin, Fletcher, charged down right Emma, right down, Tavenier now try to clear it. So this puts us in third place, level with Aberdeen, Hearts and ourselves. Sorry guys, a wee bit tired. Right, Big Salago can come on. Bar Fletcher, uh, Charlie Adams. Don't have anybody else really in midfield. So, nothing really happened here. This is probably. We've had more possession and more shots. Rosender, Holt, Mackay, Hasma just runs it past Kef, Commons, Cock, Telfer, Esk, Telfer, Commons. Oh, good save by following him. Nice shot there by Commons. I think this is going to peter out to a yep, 2-0 two, two no defeat away to Rangers. Um, it wasn't good enough for us today. Who's this guy? I've not heard of him before. Well, where was the derby? He looks decent. Looks decent. Right. Right, guys. Um, so we've got a free matches in there. What I'll do is I'll uh, end the episode here um, and I will shall see you uh, next time. Thanks very much. If you liked today's episode, please hit, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with the channel, please hit the subscribe button. So thanks very much. See you next time.